Hi, Daryl Crow here. It's Monday. It's time to answer the questions our students send us in. And you know something? We really like answering them. So I'm going to call on my good buddy. Uh, what's his name? What is his name? I have no idea. Anyway, I think it's no. No idea is about to join me. So everybody welcome Joe. Hi, Daryl. Hello, How Joe. Are you? Good to see you. Well, Hello, everybody out there in painting land. How are you today? Painting land? Painting this is land. YouTube land. It's still painting land. They're obviously watching because they paint. I have an idea. We need to reach, uh, change the name of YouTube to you paint. Yes, you can paint. Hi, everybody in you paint land. How's that? <laughs> that better? I hope so. Okay, I have a question here. We'll find out by email. Oh, my God. See what I have to deal with? This is not easy. The Lord has been kind in a lot of ways. This, unfortunately, doesn't look like it's one of them today. But at any rate, oh, here's the question. It's from Herman. Yes. Antoine. Herman, Herman Antoine. Herman Antoine, yeah. Okay. In Fairbanks, a lot. Fairbanks, oh, fair, I'd have not realized there were Fairbanks. But at any rate, he must have one. Uh, his question is, it's I up am, well, only in the outside. Well, I tell you, I've been in Fairbanks twice now. My condolences. No, it was a great trip both times. It was? Yeah. Okay. Really great trip. And you know what they've got up there? I give up. Alaskans. Uh, the question is, I have been doing an underpainting. I'm trying to paint my cat. Huh. And unfortunately, doing the underpainting, I screwed up and I created a line, a dark line, that just is not proper. How can I fix that? Please help. Okay. Did he mention what medium he was using? He was using acrylics. Acrylics? Yep. Oh, that makes it a lot easier. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Now, <laughs> can we change that to like uh, water mixable oils with uh, garlic? Wow. Yeah, that's just wow. something I created. I'll tell you what. What's that? Why don't we show Herman how to fix his painting? You know, you're just full of these incredible, incredible marvel. I'm going to leave you to Daryl now, so you guys enjoy yourselves. Have a great day, and hope this tip helps you like we try to do every week to try to help you with all the tips we have. Let's not do a closing yet. <clears throat> Bye. <laughs> Okay, well, this is what Herman was talking about. If you look over here at the left side, he sent us a photo, so we were able to duplicate it. And he, the cat's eye has this tiger stripe that just comes down from the corner of the eye, curves around the face. But what he had done is, for some reason, put a couple of strokes that went straight up. And so now it makes the cat look like it's got a helmet. And uh, we can't have helmets on cats unless we're sending them to outer space. So in the meantime, how can we fix that? Now with acrylics, this is already uh, dried, but probably when he uh, stood back, took a look at it, and he went, oh my goodness, what do I do? So the first thing you need to do is opaque this area, okay? And the best way to do that is to take a very, very small amount of uh, titanium white. So, and I'm not going to use any medium. It's just a pure, pure titanium white. And I'll come back up here, and we'll just put a little bit right there. See that? See how easy that's disappearing, Joe? Wow, that's amazing. It's that's like different strokes for different folks. You just fix that right up there. Well, it's not fixed yet because well, it, yeah, I, mean, you're, I mean, he doesn't have a helmet on anymore. But he does have this white gap. Boy, does he ever. Wow. So uh, what we're going to do is just, it takes about 10 minutes for this to dry. So let's just let it dry. I'll use my time-lapse magic. Oh, you're going to use your time-lapse magic? Yes. Well, it's been a few minutes now since I applied that, and we can start to see a bit of the dark coming through this. So it's going to require a second coat. So it's only been about four or five minutes, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab a little more paint and come right over this. Now, you want to do this in short strokes because a tabby is a short-haired cat. So see how I'm doing that? And in the direction 
that I would have painted. So we'll come back in another four or five minutes. Now one of the things that we can do while we're waiting for the acrylic to dry is we can go ahead and uh, take a little bit of this color and uh, move it up like that because you see the thing that I don't want to do is have a hard edge. See that? And so we mushed out. You like that word? Mushed out. There we go. And right there. See? Now we'll have to redo the line a little bit, redo some of that, but that should be okay. Well, what I'm going to do now is tone down. We've got a raw sienna and yellow ochre mixture here. So let's begin to tone down that uh, patch we put over his uh, tiger marks. See, there it is. See how easy that works? Now, it's still a little bit wet. We didn't wait enough, but you can see that it's toning down nicely. Now, the other thing too, and you didn't mention this in your letter, Her Herman, but I looked at your photograph and I would say, hey, you got to tone this down so it doesn't look like a, a helmet. And so all we do is just go ahead and put right over the markings, okay, right over the markings, the base color. See, you still have your stripe, but now it's looking better and better. Okay, now, the nice thing here is this just looks like a little glow right there, see? But now let's get some of the orange color. All we did was add orange to the base color. See that? And we'll come right over that again. And you just keep doing this until it's back. And that's how you correct these lines like that, okay? See that? Wow, that looks just so nice. And you come over here, I see, and just do the same thing. All right, so we'll be back in just another minute to finish toning this down. Well, as you can see, it's dry now, and it's dry darker, and that's what we were waiting for. So let's come back up here, and I'm going to go get some more of this base color. Just like that, see? Make sure you're always spraying if you want to preserve it. So critical to spray your paints frequently when you're using acrylics. Okay, see that? Now, there we go. See how easy that is, Herman? Okay, and there we are. And then I notice you got a little bit of light traveling up here. We can go ahead and travel that all the way up. But I want to add a little bit of dark. Because what I see right here is you've got some dark right in here. So we'll just add a little bit of dark just to match that. And I'm using the paints that we talked about on the phone. Okay, there we go. And you don't want to put too much of this, just enough. Okay, I think we might be done. Let's double check. And again, a bunch of little strokes. Yeah, here we go. And that's how easy it is to fix a line. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, tip. Send us your questions. And we'll see you next Monday. I'm Daryl Crow, and yes, you can paint.